Hey guys, welcome to this quick lesson. Uh, I had a request from Brian over the uh, Patreon group to look at how to play this. <laughs> Classic. Um, this is a great film. Obviously, Mr. Steve Vai playing Jack Butler in guitar, imitating the train. Um, interestingly, of course, this is uh, the same sort of thing he plays at the start of Bad Horsey or Feeling Love Secrets. So it's a cool thing that he's obviously used a couple of times. And what he's doing here is he's imitating the, the whistle of the train with harmonics and basically getting the feel of the rhythm of the train and the tracks with a kind of little riff. Tuning wise, um, drop D for this, so I've got like a D string here, and then I've got standard tuning after that, so A, D, G, B, E. With Bad Horsey, uh, he then tunes another whole step down, so you can pl pretty much play the same thing for the two kind of songs. So what he's going to do here is um, start off with a natural harmonics in the seventh fret of the D and the G strings. Okay. Now when I'm playing these, I'm going to use my third finger here, but I'm using my thumb to mute the E and A strings, just to control that. And then the underside of this finger will control the G, uh, the B and the E. So I'm trying to just mainly aim for the D and the G strings here. And that means you can be a little bit harder with your picking strike, because you've got these kind of muted. But basically you're going to hit that. And you're going to hit it. Dip. Step dip and then push the bar down. And once you've done that, you get into kind of the rhythm part here. And what I'm going to do is basically it's a bunch of these little uh, four sixteenths where you're playing the power chord D and A string, with the down stroke. Then you're going to mute the strings and do it with the down up. So it's like one E and a. Like that sort of vibe. Now, positionally, you can, you know, in the video, he's up here in the neck, but anywhere else where you're not getting these kind of natural harmonic sounds, you want to hear that. So, this can hear the neck's fine. Yeah, and that's pretty much your riff in between all these harmonics. The next harmonic is a natural uh, harmonic at the fifth fret, the D and G strings again at the fifth fret. This time, though, he does the harmonics. Dips and then pulls up and goes down. It's going up about one and a half steps there in the video, of course, if you want to, if you're feeling brave. You can pick up the guitar with a whammy bar, but, you know, disclaimer. Be careful. Um, but basically, same thing. Once you dip down with the bar, into the riff again. Yeah. And then for the last one, it's not a harmonic it plays here, but it's playing a double stop at the 22nd fret of the B and E strings. Now I'm using my second and third finger here. I'm also going to mute the G and the D strings here with the first finger because that allows me just to kind of play the last chord without these strings ringing out. So basically I play that, hit the double stop, again do a dip with the bar and then a bit of vibrato. And then you play that. So you basically play E string, B string, E string, let it ring. Then you're going to slide back a tone, so back two frets on that B string, and then hit that E string after it. And you play that D pearl chord to kind of put a full stop on it uh, for Ralph Macho to do his thing. So that's it, so it's pretty cool. Same vibe as I said for Bad Horsey. He just does a couple of extra things when he's doing the rhythm. He's kind of more hitting the, the higher strings when he's muting, but it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, maybe the end bit he plays like a, kind of plays a chord, or basically puts 20th fret in the A string as well, and then kind of slides off, but it's pretty much the same thing. So have fun with it, and a big huge uh, thanks to Brian for suggesting it. It's always cool to look at uh, some Vi. I'm a huge fan, as you know. Um, if you want access to uh, the Guitar Pro tab for this or um, the Sound Slice animated tab, check out Master the Guitar on Patreon. You've got access to the Helix patch as well, actually. Though this is pretty much the same one that I did for the Master That Lick lesson on kind of David Roth era Vilex. 
uh, but it's the same kind of one. Uh, you'll also get access to all the extra materials with the Master That Riff series, the Master That Lick and, and so forth. Um, jam tracks, loads of things on there. So if you're interested in that, go and check it out. If this is your first time here and you like what you see, please hit the subscribe bell uh, button, hit the notification bell if you want to be kept up to date and get pinged whenever I upload a video. Uh, if YouTube pushes it to you. Yeah. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, have fun with it and I'll see you soon.